This is a special treat for me. This is just kind of an extra. Um, I imagine this was built as a durability tester or just to explore options. You guys all know that I'm a big fan of the K100, carried one for years. This is the K105. What's different about it is the safety switch has an extra detent on it. So not something we would even be able to have in the States anyway. No. and. Full auto handguns are a handful or can be. Ground powers are very smooth. This is 124 NATO. I will not be shooting this. <laughs> let's let's give it a try, see if I can do some controlled bursts. I have not shot this before. You guys are seeing absolute first shots like we always do. That was pretty controllable. It's actually not that bad. Uh, not not nearly as uh, wild. Like you've, I'm sure you've seen Glock 18s and things where the guy just, and then they're shooting down airplanes. Um, that ground power smooth action and the cyclic rate of this made it pretty manageable. Tia? I'll do six. You need more than that. Cause it's, it's burstable. It's 10. Like, it's like the 249. 10. That's pretty darn smooth. Okay. <laughs> the last time I shot a full auto handgun, I embarrassed myself. Oh, you got to move the uh, selector. All, the way, there you all go. the way down without my trigger on the finger. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, every time you have to move it down. No, just keep it down. You might, you might be bumping it under recoil. Yep, like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have that muscle memory. Yeah, it, g it gave you some climb, but compared to other full auto pistols, what do you think? Oh, for sure. For sure. With time, I, I could probably enjoy that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just because Americans and machine guns seem to like to just hold it down. Otherwise it doesn't count. I'm going to try taking the K105 for a ride. Hopefully not embarrass myself. Well, well done. done. It's pretty flat. Well done. <laughs> <laughs>